Now think about your seat bones, feel them. And watch your shoulders, your inside shoulder is lower than your outside shoulder, yes. Good. That's just about perfect, Lise. And she is moving. <laughs> Very nice. Shoulders. Pick up your inside shoulder. Now turn using your seat bone first. Good for you. Don't lean into it. Right straight up. Now turn the other way now using your seat bone. Good. That's beautiful. Watch your shoulders. Down center line. Think about your seat bones. Even weight on both of them. Now out. I want you to halt, and as you do, I want, yes! Now, lean over and look at her legs. That's a perfectly square halt. And the more you can do that with your seat bones, the more perfect and exact she's gonna be when she stops. That was, that's, that's, you can't just, can't improve on perfection. All right, walk forward. Good. Watch your shoulders. Turn with your seat bone first. Perfect. Now I want you to pick up a very slow sitting trot and don't change anything about your position. Think about your seat bones. Make it comfortable for you. Slow her down to the extent that she doesn't bounce you and you can concentrate on your position. Turn to mush and sink way down in the saddle. Good. Let her stretch. Perfect. Now that's, the, that's almost the stretch we're going to need on your stretch circle. All the way down. Keep nagging on that inside rein. That's perfect, yes. Ask again. Push down, turn to mush. Push, push, push down. Watch your shoulders. Shoulder blades together. Walk. Good for you. Now when you trot, when you're doing a sitting trot, and as soon as we finish training level, you're going to have to do a sitting trot. I want you to feel like a sack of potatoes. The biggest mistake that people make when they're trying to learn to sit the trot is trying to hang on with their knees, with their legs, and that pushes you up out of the saddle. You have to sit down low and let gravity hold you in the saddle. I want you to pick up a slow, easy, comfortable sitting trot again and think about not holding on with your legs. Let gravity do the work. Slow down till it's comfortable for you. Watch your legs, your feet. Point your toe forward. And don't let your lower leg jiggle or bounce. Now that's hard to do without actually holding on with it. That's right. Push down push down. That's much better. You're getting there, Lise. Watch your leg. Don't let it jiggle. Don't let it bounce.
Now cut across the arena using your seat bone. And let's go the other way. Slower down so it's comfortable for you. Concentrate on your lower leg, not bouncing. We're not going to worry about your hands yet. Because as long, that's, that's a super good stretch. Yes. Now that is the stretch that we need. See what that looks like. How far down she goes. Watch your lower leg. Don't let it move. Shoulder blades together. Perfect. Oh, that's gorgeous. How elegant. Careful with your lower leg. And walk. Good for you. What? Careful now. The second you came into a walk, you relaxed to the extent, look at me, that your feet went like this. <laughs> you have to walk a fine line here. Your toes must continue to point at her shoulder, at that big muscle as it moves. And careful about pushing your feet forward. If you look down over your knee, if you can see your toe, your lower leg is too far forward. So from your knee, move your lower leg. That's right, right there. Now look down. Can you see your toe? That's perfect. Just think of twisting your heel off of her and walking pigeon-toed. Now that position for me is second nature. And you have to learn to do that so that you don't have to think about it at all. Going this direction now, pick up your sitting trot. Make it comfortable for you. Think about your lower leg. Turn a big circle. Easy, easy. Watch your shoulders. Keep your focus right between her ears. Good. Don't let your lower leg bounce. Don't let it sneak forward. That's perfect. Right there, that's perfect. Turn. Turn sharper. Go the other direction. Don't change anything. Watch your lower leg. Toe forward. Seat bone, seat bone. Yes! Good for you. Don't lean, don't lean. Focus right between her ears. Careful with your lower leg. This one over here is not behaving as well as the other one did. Seat bone down center line. Easy, easy, easy. Make it comfortable. Check the position of your foot by looking down over your knee. Good. And walk. Super. Give her a hug, stretch out your back. I heard that smooch all the way over here. <laughs> all right, in at a canter. The things that I want you to concentrate on are the weight, the transfer of weight to your inside seat bone without shifting or doing anything to your upper body. Simply put the weight on your inside seat bone and shove that inside seat bone forward toward the pommel of the saddle without doing anything else. You ready? Give it a try.
Talk to her on the inside rein. Get her nose to the inside. That's all you need to do. And go when you're ready. Beautifully done. Sit up, sit up, don't lean. Focus right between her ears. Check your lower leg. Check your toe. Shoulder blades. Push, push, push with your seat bones. Trot. Make it comfortable for you. Check your legs. Very nice. Using your weight, change direction. Watch your shoulders. When you're ready, prepare your canter to part in this direction. Little squeezes on the inside rein only. Bending to the inside. When you're both ready, pick up your canter. Gorgeous. Focusing between her ears. Lower leg, twist your heel off. Heel off, good. Heel back, uh-huh. Your lower leg sneaks forward on you, especially going this direction. And your heel is on her. Turn your heel off. Twist, yes, yes. Heel off. And walk. Perfect. Except that that wasn't a walk, that was a trot walk. That's okay. I want to do this again. Watch your heel. 